we got the backside on this 1994 Chevy GMT 400. I do have all the doors open. I do have the slide slid now. And I will do another video of it all closed up. But I want to go ahead and show you the guts of what each cabinet has. It does have this big, nice drawer that slides out. And this is kind of what I was talking about when it comes to a welder or a mechanic truck. You can set your weld machine in here, slide it in, keep it completely out of the weather. And if you want to run it, you can slide it out. Or you can even leave it in while you're operating on it. You can keep you some spare metal up in the top. A lot, a lot of stuff you can do with this. It has several cabinets. It does have all aluminum uh, cabinets. These are all, this is an aluminum bed. It does have full ventilation, drain holes in case it does get water. Really, really nice bed. A bed like this has cost a fortune. I think used even. These beds are bringing around seven, eight thousand dollars So um, if you do the research, you do some digging, you see these are very expensive beds. New, I don't even have a price because they're so expensive. The batteries are easy to get to. They're in the back cabinet. You can actually relocate it if you want. But here's that gear rack I was telling you about. It just slides right out. You pull on this pendulum here, it'll slide out. It actually comes over the top of them tumblers. <laughs> You can see it slides right out. If you want to hang welding leads, if you want to hang um, your welding helmets, or if you're a mechanic, you want to hang spare parts, all kinds of stuff you can use in a bed like this. And again, this is a diesel truck, a 94 Chevy 6.5. One of the better uh, diesel engines Chevy had back in the day. Um, it's not that 6.2, it's that nice 6.5. And it does crank up, run and drive, but the truck itself would need a little bit of work, and I'll get into that in my video. So be sure to check them all out on at auction time at Brookhouse Auctions. Will it be bought? Thank you.